Hello everyone and this is my review for NXT Arrival and uh, I'll just go off and say it right from the get go. Uh, other than the technical difficulties that you got with the WWE Network during the Tyler Breeze, um, uh, Xavier Woods and Alexander Russo segment which was basically uh, you know you were going to have a match with Tyler Breeze and Xavier Woods but Russo uh, interfered and uh, caused the no contest for that match. Other than that it was a spectacular show. I really enjoyed it. It was just it the three main events that they build through there with Cesaro and Sami Zayn, Emma and Paige for the women's title. And trust me, I actually like the fact that NXT uses uh, calls it the women's title, not the Divas title. Uh, and then of course the Bo Dallas Adrian Neville ladder match. I felt they built them up. And they built them up great, and they built them up in a cl in a more classic way. Uh, I've been watching NXT on Hulu Plus for probably about uh, eight months to a year uh, at this point in time, so I knew where these storylines were going, but not with everybody who was getting WWE Network and seeing these people for the first time. This is why I say they built a, built these matches in a classic type way because not everybody knew the uh knew these people uh knew any of these people yet they didn't know Sami Zayn, but they knew what cesaro has been doing if you didn't watch the two out of three falls match i hope you do get to watch it at some point in time you can go back on hulu and watch it in full it's a great match uh same with pa uh page most people haven't had a chance to see page yet they've just been starting to see emma now you get to see a different side uh basically you did see that her normal deal through uh through raw and everything like her main entrance and everything like that but you got to see the different side of her in her match in general and same with bo dallas and uh adrian neville uh, what i'm saying like they built them up in a classic way they did promos of you getting to know that uh know how their characters are and everything like that and everything like that, and what they've done so far inside of NXT, and that is a good. And I felt that was a good way of doing it because just throwing them out there at that point in time wouldn't really get you to um, truly understand where these uh, where these wrestlers are coming from at this point. Uh, also, but basically, also to say. The, the matches with all three of them were done really well, and they gave so much time to each of the matches. The Sami Zayn-Cesaro match was phenomenal. Uh, great way to start off the show. Obviously, you couldn't end the show. It could have ended the show, honestly, but you couldn't end it because you're going with a ladder match, title match at that point. So, uh, in, all, in all honesty, all three of their main events were uh, the way they built them up and just the way they were performed could have ended that show but they built them uh but they put them in at the right times having Cesaro and Sami Zayn to start off they did a gr uh, great job of the match it was a great way of starting off the show and then you had like the then you had the little bit of cool down times with CJ Parker in there and the Ascent, uh, unfortunately, a cool down time with the Ascension being there. They're a great tag team, but their match with Too Cool, it, it wasn't great by any stretch, but it was at least decent and it looked and it looked good. And uh, the Ascension definitely got to show off what they can do inside inside of there, and hopefully people will start getting behind what they're. Uh, obviously, the NXT crowd has always been behind it, but hopefully, people who are watching it now. Uh, the newer people that will be watching it can get behind what they're doing. Uh, the Paige Emma match, um, just going to probably say it straight up, best Divas match of the year, and maybe even best women's match in America of the year. Uh, they just did a great job, and again, uh, a lot of time allotted to it. Kind of shocking for a uh, women's match in any way in the WWE, but they gave them a lot of time, and they used every second of it. Uh, and same with the Bo Dallas and Adrian Neville match. I liked this ladder match. It wasn't, um, it wasn't spot heavy, uh, like you see in a lot of ladder matches where they, it's like one spot to the next spot to the next spot to the next spot. It seemed like there was a psychology going on with, uh, with them and in each of those three main event matches that I was saying, it seemed like there was a psychology going. You could see, 
the build going into each of the finishes. And the uh, red, the red arrow, I believe. I believe it's called the Red Arrow. I forget offhand uh, what the uh, 450 Shooting Star Press is called. Uh, I keep forgetting it, but I believe it's the Red Arrow. Doing the, uh, having that be the end, uh, basically the end on the ladder. Uh, it was just a great finish. I liked how uh, Bo Dallas at least tried to make an attempt at uh, getting back up the ladder as Neville pulled it, uh, pulled the belt off of there. It, overall, just a great show. Outside of the one technical difficulty time during the Tyler Breeze and Xavier Woods and Alexander Rusev segment, it was an overall great show. And it, I, I was really glad I got to, uh, I did get to watch that, uh, watch it. And hopefully, uh, since it was a live show, hopefully with WWE, I'll get this into how I feel about WWE Network at this point in time. Hopefully they'll be able to fix those uh, the bugs or whatever happened during that time so it doesn't happen during any of their other live uh, wrestling uh, wrestling programs like you know the pay-per-views or anything like that so hopefully think bugs like that will get fixed out in the end so that is my NXT arrival review and I thank you guys for watching